why didn't the narcissist hoover see a lot of people ask me that sometimes and they get really caught up in everything about it wondering why did this person actually hoover me like was i not good enough like did they not actually like me was i not a good enough supply to be able to come back to or anything like that and a lot of people a lot of times people wonder about that if you don't follow me yet, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist who's working on healing, growth, and change, and trying to promote awareness about narcissism, about how it's hurt me, about how it's hurt my wife, about how it's hurt our marriage, about how it's destroyed friendships and the people around me. I work with narcissists, trying to get them into counseling, trying to get them to admit the lies and get to a place of honesty, and I also work with people who've suffered with narcissistic abuse and how that's affected them and how to be able to get them out of trauma bonds, how to be able to get them to a place of growth, healing, and change to be able to continue on their lives. Sometimes it's really confusing when people are in a narcissistic relationship and either they discard the narc or the narcissist discards them and they get to a place where they get into a cycle where they'll discard the narcissist and then the narcissist comes back or the narcissist gets, discards them and then a little while later the narcissist comes back and they start seeing like a pattern of discard, devaluation, then the love bombing, they come back, then they devalue, then they discard and back and forth and back and forth and oftentimes this is called hoovering when the person is trying to get back with a person that they don't actually care about but they'll pretend they'll mimic the idea that they care about someone else in order to get back in with that person for either supply for sex for money for stability of having a house whatever it might be oftentimes this will happen and the person will be unaware They'll think, oh, this person's actually trying to change. This person actually loves me. This person actually cares about me. And they open up their doors. The person comes back in. A couple days later, six weeks later, a month later, they're back to just where they were before. To hurting, abusing, gaslighting, manipulating, the whole nine yards. Oftentimes, it gets worse every single time you take a narcissist back because they view everything that they've done being justified, being accepted, being allowed after you've already said, hey, it's okay to come back. A lot of times they'll accelerate even more. So sometimes people ask like, was I not good enough to Hoover whenever the narcissist discards or they discard and they never attempt to come back. They never say anything, they never contact them. They don't follow them on social media, all this kind of stuff. And they'll be thinking in their minds like, I know this is what normally happens, like a narcissist hoovers, they try to come back, they try to manipulate, why aren't they doing that to me? Was I not good enough? Well, see the question there stems from a whole different section. It stems from the idea that your narcissist loved you. It stemmed from the idea that your narcissist cared because if they did, then they would come back. If they did, then they would come back for more love, for more care, for more connection. The thing is the narcissist doesn't look at that. The narcissist looks at themselves. What do I get out of it? How do I feel about it? What can I make myself feel with this other person? How can I look better with having this other person in my life? What type of validation or supply can I get from this one person? So as a result, it doesn't come down to, oh, I'm gonna go back to this person because I care about them. No, it's more or less, I'm gonna go back to this person, try to convince them to stay with me so I look better to my family, so I look better with my job so that I have a place to sleep and I don't have to sleep in my car because I don't have money. Like whatever it might be, what stems from the narcissist actually hoovering another person back is not love, is not care, is not value or appreciation. It's only looking at themselves what they can do. Sometimes there's narcissists that are even more like malicious and they just want to try to get back with someone just to prove that they can do it, just to prove that they can be in control of another human being. And they try that and a lot of times they succeed because most people will give them the benefit of the doubt and be like oh you made a mistake you're loving me now love bombing and i'll take you back so when it comes down to it were you good enough for the narcissist to hoover if they didn't hoover you that's a really good sign it's a really good thing that you might actually be able to break ties to cut that bond between the two of you and be able to learn and grow and change yourself without having all this extra baggage. You're gonna have trauma, you're gonna have things you're gonna have to work through to process and things like that, but being able to get a clean break can be absolutely life-changing and amazing. So I hope you capitalize on that. I hope you look towards that because if that happens, that's a good thing. 
A lot of times people are in those types of relationships and they've been built on the abuse and the emotional manipulation and the trauma. And once the narcissist leaves, there's like this gap. And this gap is like the feeling of like not knowing what to do because I'm used to the highs of the trauma, the lows of devaluation, and all that goes in between. All of a sudden, I don't have that anymore. Life is a little bit more even. And for a period of time, people will get to the place where they wonder, like, what do I do with this peace? What do I do with this feeling of, you know, no one's yelling at me right now. Like, no one's showing that they care about me, even if it was love bombing. And they start to doubt themselves. A lot of times that's almost the same idea of coming off an addiction, coming off a high. It's changing the levels in your brain, the levels in your body to get back to a place where normal is not under stress. Normal is not being yelled at. Normal is not being devalued, but actually learning to live a life that's based around you and based around your growth and based around your worth than based on someone else's actions or how they treat you. Hope you enjoyed what you saw here. Uh, follow me for more content as we talk about narcissism and other things like that that affect our lives.